This tutorial describes how to use the tools in Bentley Point Tools VATI to do a basic object animation on one or more point clouds. Right, first we need to prepare our point cloud, our main point cloud. I'll just hide a portion of it just to make it easier for me to view and position the items that I wish to animate. Right, we can use the insert command to attach and locate our first object, and in this case it's a red car. Having inserted it, I can use my transform tools to finally locate and position the car. Just move it using the move two points after rotating it. Having done that, I can repeat the same process now to bring in my other object. So I'll use the insert command. Find the object, in this case it's the blue car. Locate it. Just zoom in. And use the transform tools again now. Starting with the rotate command, have it facing the right way, and move two points just to locate it on the correct position. Right, in order to uh, animate any object in Bentley Point Tools, first we have to assign an animation controller. Okay, once that's done, it will appear in the animation list. To animate it now, I'll add a keyframe to position the car in its first position at frame zero. I now go to the final frame, and then once again use the transform tools in this instance, the move and the move two point to just move the car from its current place at frame zero to where I want it to be on the final frame. So I'll just use move two point. Now, finally, I add a keyframe in that location just to locate it in its final position. If I move the slider, you can see that the car is now moving along the predefined path that I've set. And I can press the play button just to preview that animated object. I'll add another animation controller to the next, in this case the blue car. Once again, I just assign a keyframe to its first position, go to the final frame, you'll see the red cars moving, and now use the transform tool just to move using move two point, move the blue car to its final location. I'm happy with that, I had a keyframe. the slider you can see both vehicles are moving. Now just press the play button. So I'll press the play button and you can see or preview the animation. Okay, having done that, I just need to now unhide the point cloud that I'd hidden earlier. Just 
quickly play my animation again, just a quick preview. And I'm now in the position to render the animation and view the final result.